What's up my friends, Nama5 Mang here doing a video today. We're going to do a video on the Nano System, which is a 25 gallon innovative marine. And we're going to do a update on the frag system. So basically my uh, lagoon was the frag system, but I had got an itch watching uh, Drew's lagoon and I want to make my lagoon something, you know, nicer than a, a regular frag system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the corals from the top tank down to this tank. And as you can see, I made a crate in order to hold all of my frags. So with this, this is a total of three tanks, three separate tanks. I have a 150 plus, let's say a 40 gallon sump plus a 25 gallon lagoon plus a 25 gallon frag tank. We're close in the neighborhood of a 240 gallon uh, system. Now, a 240 is not that big of a deal if it's all plumbed in together. But uh, with three other tanks, I find it necessary. And of course, when you love the hobby as much as I do, uh, you're probably going to go ahead and do that. The reason I have a frag tank is, you know, I like to cut things up. I think this is like the best aquascape, just seeing a tank full of zoas that light up, you know. And uh, I'm going to get this system there. And it's a little bit dirty right now from moving everything out of the lagoon and into this acrylic tank. Now, when you do something like that, just because you have uh, water from the same system and an established system, it's still going to go through an algae bloom. It's going to be like a little mini cycle. I'm probably going to get some of that Sika matrix or the marine pure blocks, but uh, the smaller blocks, not the big block. Uh, that way, a lot of beneficial bacteria can be in here with very little to no live rock at all. Um, so I am going to go ahead and probably order some of that here in the future. But for right now, I think everything's going to be okay because it's just coral and I'm not actually adding any type of fish. I do have this little pump right here. And uh, the pump is just to kind of blow things around. In the past videos, I had been talking to you about lighting upgrades. I told you I was thinking about doing some AI primes or XR15s. I had Alan, of course, telling me that I should get an Orphic. Um, but for this frag system, I am using a Reef Breeders Photon uh, light. Some of the things that I wanted to talk to you about was how do you guys buy your system? There's a firm. I don't know if any of you have used it. My buddy Enrique suggested I wait until they do 0% financing, which is the only way I would really recommend this. Uh, unless you're buying something that doesn't really cost too much because you are financing it and the percentage could be a little high. But like most of you reefers, you do have uh, PayPal. A lot of people pay with PayPal for credit, uh, corals and equipment, things like that. You can do all kinds of things with this. And this is how I ended up financing my Radeon XR15 Gen 4 Pros from uh, Marine Depot. And the only reason I bring this up is because, you know, I'm trying to be as real as I can on my YouTube, on my channel, and uh, just kind of give you guys ideas. Um, you need credit for everything, buying a car, buying a house. But the important thing is you need to pay attention. You can't be maxing out your stuff. You have to buy it and quickly pay it off so that way the interest doesn't hit. And since we're talking about credit, just real quick. Um, it will not show up on your credit report that you've been making good payments and good payment history with PayPal. Just an FYI. Another thing that you need to pay attention to is the power of an LED Radeon. I ended up burning the crap out of my couch. Uh, the couch actually melted onto the lenses. And this is for reals. Um, I didn't have it on uh, for more than 30 seconds. It turns on at 100%. And uh, the LED kind of melted up my couch. Um, the reason I had a face down on my couch was because I was going to plug it into my laptop so I can start programming it, reg registering it through the Ecotech Smart um, through via USB. So like I said, I just try to be as real as I can on my YouTube. Be really careful with uh, your lights. Imagine if I had just plugged it in and walked away, I would be in a lot more trouble than some little holes on my couch. I would like to mention that I did contact Ecotech 
Marine, and I told him what happened. Uh, I was not trying to get a brand new couch or anything like that, but I did tell them what happened, and they are sending me the uh, lenses for free. Great customer service. I didn't have to, I didn't even have to send pictures, but I was prepared to send them pictures and video and let them know that uh, my accident was legit. Now the uh, mount for the light, I ended up trading with my buddy Ray. Um, Ray was like, hey, what are you going to do with your Coral Box LED? I really didn't want to give it up, but I told him it would just be sitting in my garage. So I'll give you the light, and we just made an even trade for that mount. I am a little bit excited for this LED. Um, I had a Radeon before, but then um, I got rid of the Radeon when I got rid of my 45-gallon cube. And then uh, I ended up selling it, which is another good thing about the Radeons. They have a good resale value. You can see people selling them for close to the light price that they bought it for all day, every day on the reef forums. I did pick up some Carib C uh, live sand. This is the pink Fiji live sand. And I'm going to use this in my tank, which is what I want to talk to you real quick about. You know, you see people doing these aquascapes. They have all these rock walls. And, I mean, the rock wall is, is great if you're limited on your tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 20 pounds of Fiji live, rock, live sand for beneficial bacteria. And then I'm going to use the minimal amount of rock that I want because I don't want to have a cluttered aquascape. I want to have something nice. I want to have a nice lagoon and uh, just full of corals. I want the corals to be the center of attraction in this tank, not a bunch of uh, rock. But I am gonna do a separate video on how to aquascape my tank, and we're gonna talk about all of that. As you can see, the live sand from Carib Sea is always dirty. It's always dirty. It, you leave your tank cloudy for a couple of days, unless you have a hang on back filter, but it does come with this chemical, uh, it's clarifier. What it does is it gets all the, uh, the sand together, it bunches it up and then, uh, so that way you can scoop it out a little bit better. I'm gonna be using some filter pads uh, in this tank, which is that poly filter right there, and be replacing it uh, here shortly. Like I said, this thing takes like a couple of days to legit clear up but this uh, chemical does kind of help another thing guys i want to give you another quick tip because i've been reefing for you know a couple years now and uh, you don't want to clear up your tank with uh, the mag float right away because you're going to have small grains of sand and you will scratch the heck out of your your tank so what you use is a cotton ball and some tongs just keep getting the cotton balls rub the glass and it'll clear up I did buy a brand new heater. Also picked this up from uh, Marine Depot. I'm gonna keep be keeping it out close to 78, and I'm just gonna drop it in. It's one of those neotherm heaters, really nice. And I have it in my frag tank below. You can see that things kind of cleared up here, and uh, I might add just a little bit more rock on the opposite side. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna be running that second uh, pump there or not. I think maybe one pump will be more than enough for this uh, lagoon. But I do have the option of adding it later on. Now I will be adding some Tonga rock into this tank. Uh, I do want to mention that I have this Pukani rock in here and uh, it looks like dry rock but it's actually been sitting in my sump of the 150 since it's been up. So it is live rock you know with the live sand and it does have beneficial bacteria. I'll be adding a little bit more rock into this tank uh, for an aquascape, be playing around with it, and I'll show you how to, I did that in another video. I have been clearing up this tank. It looks a little bit messy, uh, but I have been clearing it up with this hang on back filter. Uh, this filter, I picked it up at the pet store. I forgot which one, it's probably Petco, and uh, it's a Fluva, and I gotta tell you, the Fluva hang on back filter works great. I've had it on all kinds of tanks. This tank, uh, my 20 gallon long, and it's been great. I do have a 
overflow box right here in the back but I need to get some kind of return pump and so I can kind of get that into play but what I just wanted to do today is just get this tank up and going moving some of the frags I do want to tell you real quick though my salinity was way off it was like at point 30 and I did kill some uh, chalices instantly because I had set it up at night and then in the morning I was like what the hell I, I checked my salinity which I should have did at night but I didn't and uh, ended up killing some stuff and since I back down to 1.025 my zoas are opening up everything is doing well I do have a lot of detritus as you can see and uh, this is just how it goes that filter works great but I just want to say thanks for watching guys we'll catch you on the next video like comment below and we'll talk to you guys later have a good one take care